Hey guys, Adam with BlackOpsDrones.com. We're out here at our flying field test area. Today we're going to be doing a fully autonomous mission with the Iris quadcopter. This is our Spec Ops kit. And a lot of you guys requested how do you start and stop the mission, how do you get it going. So we're going to show you that today and uh, let's get the mission started. Alright guys, I want to show you a couple things here, One, a couple tips when you're planning your mission out. Also another way to, save, to do a safety check on your maps to make sure they actually upload it to the Iris. I have had people say that they've had other missions stored in there and they got confused and they did an auto mission and the helicopter took off and went in a different direction. This is a way you can verify that your mission did successfully upload. Now you'll see the mission that we're going to fly here. Since you're home position, we're going to take off. We are going to fly to waypoint 2, waypoint 3, and then we're going to return to home or return to waypoint 4 and we're going to land. One of the things I always do after I've downloaded the mission to the Iris is go ahead and go into the edit mode and let's go ahead and delete these waypoints. We're just going to hit the, the trash can button and we're going to delete each of the waypoints. You can see here now we have a clean slate. I'm going to go up here to the menu items which is the three dots on a tablet and I'm going to do load mission. And you'll see here that we received the waypoints again from the iris and they're exactly where we left off. So that's one way you can verify that what you actually put into the iris was sent correctly and is actually uh, downloaded correctly to the iris. So now we're pretty much ready to start our mission. One thing you want to keep in mind also, um, another thing you can do on your pre-flight checklist is take your radio out and make sure all the modes are correctly displaying. So we have stabilized there. Mode loiter. Loiter. Auto and so on. So go ahead and make sure that your mode switches are working correctly. That way, you know everything is transmitting to the iris as it should. All right, so we'll go ahead and proceed on to the next step of how to start this mission. Once you've downloaded your mission using Droid Planner and the tablet, to get your mission started, you're going to need to set your mode switch to the auto setting. Now, keep in mind that when you set it to auto, it doesn't just leap off the ground and launch and start going. It waits until you apply at least half throttle as a safety measure. This is done for two reasons. One, if you inadvertently switch to auto, and let's say you're indoors, it won't take off and start flying a mission. And two, it makes sure that your throttle position is at a halfway point so that if you take it out of the auto setting, you'll be at a hover midpoint throttle setting. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're first we're gonna arm the safety switch. And now we'll step back We'll set it to auto, and then we'll advance the throttle for an auto takeoff. All right, we're ready to start our auto mission. We're going to change our mode to auto. Mode auto. And you can see our tablet confirm that. And now we're going to advance the throttle and watch the iris take off.
Now we landed in a little uneven turf there, so the, the copter was trying to level when it hit down, uh, touched down. But I simply disarm it with the stick, press the safety button, and our mission's complete. Thanks for watching.